Greetings, Daniel Persedo for Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud Edition, but you can also do this one in CS6. I have a bottle here that I just grabbed from the internet. I'm going to select the background. Now this is a demo I've done a long time ago for CS6. I did a quick video of just the whole thing. I'm going to invert that selection so it's just getting the bottle. And see if I can do a little bit of a refined edge here. I am going to shrink that radius a little bit, shift that edge, actually the other way. The feather, smooth it a little bit. Mm, that's too too much feathering. There we go, contrast. Let's just go ahead and go with that. And now I'm going to just cut that out, pop that into another layer. I'm just going to throw that layer out. I just don't feel like inverting the mask and all that fun stuff. Get my marquee tool. But first, but first, let me get into the right layer here. I'm going to drop the levels down, make this thing dark. I don't really need anything else from it. I'm going to select down the middle here with my marquee tool. I'm going to use half of it. Don't need the other half. And now I'm going to use my wand tool and select this just half bottle here and say new 3D extrusion from current selection. That's important. You only want these pixels that we've selected. Now we have a half bottle, which is okay. Now in the 3D panel, let's select that mesh or you can select it on canvas here. Go to the deform properties, that's deform here. And let's move this down just a little bit so we can see the rest. And I'm gonna use the horizontal X to create a lathe. And whoop, that creates a really skinny bottle. Now that's okay because we can use the extrusion and create this a little bit larger and start to get that shape that we want. There we go, we have a little mini bottle there. I think it might be just a little bit more. There we go. Now let's not move that again. Whoops, let's do that again. A Little bit more. All right, move the camera. And there you go. That is a mesh that you've created from an image from the internet. And that's basically all you have to do to create any object and lay it. You want to do different wine bottles or glasses and things like that. Now the part that you want to experiment with would be materials. And I can go into a little bit of that right now. So I'm going to go ahead, going to go ahead and select the bottle by clicking on here twice. And just to show you, let's just change the whole color. There we go. We can even do it kind of open. Oh, not opaque, uh, transparent. Make it blue. We can just do a whole bunch of things now, but what you really, probably want to do is turn it into that kind of Coke bottle again. And to do that, we're going to have to do some trickery. Now that I've selected this material, we're going to open it up, arrange it vertically here. And what I usually do is to try to get an idea of where things are. So let's go ahead and use a secondary view and say left side here. And I'm going to paint where I think that that label might be. It looks kind of crooked here. There we go. That's kind of where I want that label to appear. So now that I know I want that label to appear there, I'm going to go back to my layers. I'm going to turn this on and just grab this label just like that. I'm going to copy it. Turn that off. Now this, uh, for demonstration purposes, this is very crude. You can try this at home. And let's go ahead and rotate this, transform. I'm going very fast. I apologize for those that are gonna yell at me for going fast, but this is a demo, a very difficult demo. It would take minutes and minutes, and we have lynda.com for those kind of things. And here we go. Quick little save. It's completely warped, as you can tell. Not a good example, but there you go. You kind of have, let's get rid of that thing there. Okay. Oh, need to be in the 3D layer. Ha, ha, ha. Let's switch this back. And you can see, there you go. You have a little label going on there. Not perfect, but that's okay. We're just messing around here. Now you probably want to get some transparent transparency in here. It's late at night, you know, okay. So opacity map, new texture. We're going to say, well, it's really tiny. How about we uh, just give that some reasonable size here? 
10 by 10 ought to do it. Go ahead and open it. Now again, we're going to be at the mercy of where is everything. So we kind of know where. Let's go ahead and arrange all of these. We kind of know where this one is right there. And I think we can actually copy that. Whoops, not here. Over here. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size. We're getting a little cramped in here to figure out where everything is. And let's see. No, there we go. We got it right around there. So we know that we want that area to be opaque, and not transparent. So we're going to reverse this. So first, I'm going to command click on here to select that. And I'm going to make this white. Uh, I mean, white. And I'm going to command shift I to invert that selection to make everything else black. So this should make it the opposite happen. Now we have things disappearing, which is okay at this point. Let's go back over here. Let's kind of close this thing. You know, we can actually look close both of these for now. Have I lost anybody yet? I hope not. So there we have a little transparency going on there. It looks kind of weird. I know. It's part of being the weird part here. We can actually, let's go ahead and light it because we haven't done any ray tracing yet and that's kind of fun to see where we are. Crazy looking bottle, a little bit of transparency going on there. Let's go ahead and open that thing back up. I think what you may want to do here, let's go ahead and align these things. Whoa. How about we just bring that down a little bit and don't make it too transparent. Let's save that. Now we have a little bit to see here. And we can even, I can probably take this off because it's probably the top as I'm thinking out loud here. There we go. And now let's go ahead and get our brush and be a little wacky and just start doing things like maybe there are bubbles inside here. Oh, oh I mean holes inside the label. Shouldn't probably be doing that. Let's invert that and put bubbles here. That's what I really meant to do. I bet you knew that while I was doing that too and you didn't say anything. That's okay. Even I make mistakes. And so should you so that you can experiment and have fun. Now let's go ahead and select this. We'll close this and we'll save it. Save. And we'll ray trace it. And I think you get the idea. There's a lot of things you can do with Photoshop 3D. You can pull images off the internet. You can extrude them. You can lathe them, create other objects. And in this case, the bottle, that is a long journey there. You could go on and do the materials forever, doing bubbles and whatnot. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them at the end of the video. Thanks.